If you want to buy cheap Fallout 76 items fast and safe, then check out EasyNPC.com and make sure to use my discount code DEMON for 5% off your entire order. A link is in the description below. What's up guys, Demon Asylum here with a new Fallout 76 video in which I'll be showing you a workaround for the glitch that allows you to buy legendary items from the purveyor with caps instead of script. This past Wednesday, the first way that went public got hotfixed, and so you'll be seeing how it's still possible in a different way now. If you guys do go on to enjoy this video or find it helpful, I'd really appreciate if you took a second to drop a like on it and subscribe if you haven't already. I also have a great Discord server about all things Fallout 76 you can join. If you're interested, the link is in the description. So first and foremost, a disclaimer about this glitch. Some people have already been banned for doing it after the hotfix, and so there is certainly a risk here. However, it doesn't seem like a huge amount of people so far, honestly, and from what I've seen, they're all people that did a lot of caps worth of exchanges with the purveyor for legendaries, like well into the five digits, and past the max amount of caps you can hold. That's not to say, however, people who have done only 10 to 20,000 caps worth of exchanges, for instance, haven't also been banned or couldn't be, though. Obviously, I don't know of every case yet. Regardless, whether the amount of caps you used is what results in a ban or not, I just wanted to make you all aware of the current situation. If you'd like to still do this on your main account, but for a smaller amount of caps in hopes of avoiding a ban, that's on you. Same goes for if you want to make a new account or use an account you don't care about to do this however much, and then just transfer the stuff over to your main or a third account. Whatever you decide to do, just know a risk of getting banned does exist, and more so than it has for any glitches in a long time. Anyway, so this glitch is going to work exactly like it did in my previous video about it, except for this time, since we can't do it with the medic and ammo machines anymore, we have to go through some more time and effort to get one of the traveling vendors to the purveyor, such as the wandering responder bot or Mr. Squeeze. People were using Graham as well, but it seems he's since been disabled like the machines were. So the first thing you want to do is server hop until you happen to find one of these vendors and it may be better to do this in a private server as you will then have less chance of interference from anyone or anything else. Because you'll be getting the vendor right next to the purveyor, you won't be needing much lag anyway as you'd get more of from a public server. Now for one of these vendors, they luckily have a couple of nearby spawns to the purveyor. Mr. Squeeze has a chance of spawning just south along the road or at the nearby railroad tracks just south of the Thunder Mountain substation. The Wandering Responder Bot on the other hand I've only been able to find out often spawns around the Charleston station and while it's further away than the possible spawns for Mr. Squeeze it may be more common and quicker to find him. I'll put a link in the description to a reddit post with more details. Once you've found one of these traveling vendors, you want to use hostile enemies to guide them to the purveyor. Get the enemies to go after you while the vendor is going after them. Using the Bloatfly Syringer mod can make this easier as well. Once at the Berkeley Springs Station, you want to get the traveling vendor as close to the purveyor as possible. From here, you want to choose to trade with the purveyor and then as quickly as possible after that, choose to trade with the traveling vendor. Your goal here is to get into the traveling vendor's inventory before having the purveyor's inventory pop up. If you don't have enough lag in the server, then you will have the purveyor's normal inventory pop up and before you get access to the traveling vendor's inventory. Some things you can do to increase the lag if necessary are getting more players in the server, dropping one or more nukes, and having camps nearby with max or near max building budget. If you do have enough lag though and manage to do this, you will end up in a glitched inventory for the purveyor that shows all of her legendary items being sold for caps. You can from here choose to purchase whatever you like from her in exchange for caps, so long as you of course have the amount of caps to cover it. Keep in mind that the prices shown may differ as well due to potentially being affected by your charisma as well as the hard bargain perk card. After purchasing as many legendary items with caps as you want, you can do the unlimited script glitch I previously posted to get rid of whatever ones you don't want and then use that script you get to purchase even more legendary items from her. That's going to be it for this video guys. If you have any questions or concerns just let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. As always if you've enjoyed or found this helpful be sure to drop a like down below, subscribe for more, and click the bell icon to be notified when I post new videos. Thanks for watching everyone and have a great day.